distractions that interrupt learning, a cell phone policy. <laughs> I was doing okay until just right then. <laughs> so, what would you do if your principal came down to your door and said, give me your cell phone? How many of you would hand it right over? The rest of you, why not? Okay, let me rephrase that. How many of you did that to one of your students? Oh, I did. It never turned out pretty. <laughs> First, you're invading their personal space when you get up to them and you put your hand out. A lot, of, a lot of our students, their phone is personal as you can get and is illegal. And those all apply if your principal did that or your school wanted to confiscate your phone or whatever. So about two years ago, when I was getting my classroom ready, I thought, oh, I'll make this. And I didn't realize how well it was going to work. Uh, it's just a box in the corner of the room, right by the door, actually, uh, clipped to the, the chunkboard. And it says a lot of things. It does not say that a cell phone is a bad thing. It's just uh, from time just a distraction. So it's not saying you're doing something bad. It's not saying you're using something you shouldn't be using. It's just the timing. So what else goes in the cell box? Cell in the distraction box? They yeah, just spinners, <laughs> McDonald's toys after lunch. Uh, we joke oftentimes that unfortunately Billy doesn't fit in there. So on the very first day, I make it very clear why we have classroom rules or whatever, and I explain to them I have a cell phone. I had a cell phone before you were born, and probably before your parents had one. But you won't see my cell phone unless it's some kind of an emergency. Uh, so I set, set up the scenario. If, and I, and I, oh, I also explained to them that the remedy for the distraction should not be more distracting. So if, if Billy seems completely disengaged because of something he's doing, something he's fidgeting with, I will get, make eye contact with him and just point at the box without changing my sentence without interrupting the class. And they know that if I point at the box and make eye contact with them, they've got three choices. They can smile, they can smile, they can stand up, and they can go put the distraction in the box. Or they can throw a fit and say, hey, no, you can't take my cell phone or whatever, and then put it in the box. <laughs> or they can refuse, and then I say, then just go to the dean, we have better things to do here. They also know there are uh, consequences for each one. If they sm get up, smile, put it in the box, they can pick it up on the way out the door. If they throw a fit, they can have it at the end of the day. And if they go to the dean, they go to the dean. Okay? Uh, Do-overs. <laughs> Raise your hand if you never use Comic Sans and you criticize people that do. <laughs> uh, on something like this, it's okay. I posted this on my blog and I got a lot of flack for the Comic Sans. The other thing is, I heard a lot uh, from a lot of people that that box should be clear so they can still see their cell phone. And there are some people that get concerned because if, if they put their cell phone in there and, and it gets stolen, someone else grabs it, that can become a good, uh, big issue, so there's something to be said about that. So you've got to come up with your own policy depending on your own situation. I haven't had trouble with the phone being stolen, but uh, I had questions about does that ever happen. Any other questions? You're not getting in their face, you're not causing a confrontation, the, the, the remedy isn't more distracting than the original distraction. Uh, it, it's worked amazingly for me. Thank you.